Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, December 26th, 2022. I hope you had a great Merry Christmas. This is episode 3959. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Thirsty. Stay tuned. Thirsty. (laughs) I'm going to share with you one of my favorite verses of the Bible and one of my favorite little choruses that I learned as growing up. Psalm 42, 1 through 2. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirst for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Imagine a deer on the run. Now, when we when we moved from Florida, and Florida's got a lot of deer, but when we moved to Virginia, the first week that I was here, I actually hit a deer on the highway, and you got to really watch out for them. Imagine a deer on the run as it's being chased or maybe hunted. It's on its last leg, mouth dry and parched, panting hard, longing desperately for water. This was the kind of thirst that David was talking about. Perhaps he felt like a hunted man and as though he was on his last leg. Whether this was real or imagine what he was feeling he was clear about what he needed my soul thirst for God he was desperate for the water of God's presence God's word and like David we need to come to the water of the word of God to be refreshed and cleansed daily Just as the physical body thirsts for water, so our soul thirsts. But it's a thirst that can only be quenched in God. Jesus said to the woman at the well, Whoever drinks of the water that I shall give them will never thirst. It will become in them a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. Many years ago, Lawrence of Arabia visited London and brought with him some of his desert-dwelling friends. And these men were impressed by the, the bustling city and its modern conveniences, but they were most impressed by the water faucets. All one had to do to obtain fresh water was turn a handle. The visitors asked Lawrence if it would be possible to take some of those water faucets back to the desert. They had absolutely no understanding of of plumbing. This is what takes place in people who are spiritually dead as they attempt to find joy in material pursuits. They were trying to get joy from a tap that isn't attached to anything. David understood 3,000 years ago that true joy and fulfillment are only possible after surrendering our lives to the source of living water. Now, the chorus. As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. 
Father, today, help us to satisfy our thirst with you, the well of living water. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great Monday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.